Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, I will talk about our yes, research for statistic font inversion, evidence for efficiency, and new questions. Uh, the visual representation of the text and the format of its presentation play a significant role in the success of its processing. Uh, previous research by my colleagues shows that font type is a very important factor for recognizing letters and words. It is assumed that a specially selected font can make text processing easier for people who have reading, dis uh, reading disorder, such as dyslexia. For Latin alphabets, uh, there are several, several fonts, for example, dyslexia or open dyslexia, that are designed for this purpose. However, their effectiveness remains in doubt, and the research uh, hasn't been able to prove um, that these fonts have any effect of, uh, on reading uh, for dyslexics. In fact, uh, we assume that the designers of this font uh, were inspired by their own reading difficulties and uh, didn't perform any objective pretest. In our project, we made uh, the first attempt to design a dyslexia-friendly font for the Russian alphabet. Based on the results of previous research, uh, we have created a font in which the letters are as different as possible from each other. Uh, what you can see on the screen are uh, the letters T and G, which are often confused in other fonts, were designed as if they were written by hand. This principle uh, formed the basis of the Alexia font. So the purpose of this study is to compare Alexia D with other popular fonts uh, on the effectiveness while reading in different age groups. To achieve this goal, uh, we conducted two experiments. In the first experiment, involved 56 primary school children in grades 3 to 4. 31 pupils had uh, reading disorders, according to speech therapists, and the 25 children were in the control group and didn't have any disorders. Participants read a children's version of the Russian sentence corpus, which consisted of 30 sentences. Half of the sentences were presented in font Lexia D, and the other half in font PT Serif, a popular acrylic font, uh, a popular acrylic serif font. The sentences were presented uh, sequentially on the screen, and participants read the sentences to themselves. While reading, we recorded eye movements using iLIM 1000 Plus. Uh, the main parameters that we measured were first fixation duration, which characterizes the primary processing of visual features of words. Case duration, what is the sum of uh, all fixations landing on the word before moving away from it, and which characterizes lexical access and social viewing time, that is all the time what was spent reading the word. This measure characterizes the integration of information. Also, after some sentences, there were questions about the contents uh, to control the attentiveness of reading. There were 10 questions in total. Here, you can see the results of experiment one. No significant difference was found between the groups of participants and Alexia D was more successful than, than PT Serif uh, in extracting visual fishes, first fixation duration, and integrating information, uh, total viewing time, in both groups. However, uh, for lexical access, PT Serif was better. And uh, after receiving 
uh, mixed results, uh, we decided to expose LexiID and other tests. In the second experiment, it was decided to test adolescents and they have more reading experience and better iPhone win control system. The participants were 33 adolescents with a reading disorder and 34 adolescents without disorders in grades 9 to 10. Participants with a full version of the Russian sentence corpus, uh, which consists of 144 sentences. This time, the more familiar and more common aerial font was chosen as a competing font. The corpus was divided into four parts of uh, 36 sentences. Two parts were presented in the font LexiID and the other two parts were aerial. We recorded eye movements and asked questions about some sentences, just like in an experiment one. Uh, again, we found no significant difference between the groups of participants. And this time, uh, Lexia D font was less successful than Arial in both groups in case duration and in social viewing time. The difference between uh, the fonts uh, in first fixation duration was insignificant. Uh, we assume that uh, Arial was more familiar font, so it was more effective for high school children. As a result, we can say that Lexia DE has an advantage over the standard PT serif font, and uh, uh, it could be recommended for use by primary school pupils who struggle with future extraction and text understanding, resulting in rereading. Uh, since Arial was more successful than Lexia DE, we plan to study the reasons of the success of this font and see. Uh, if they are due to its popularity, or maybe this font is really more effective. In the conclusion, I would like to thank the teachers of school number three and school number 491 in St. Petersburg uh, and uh, all the participants of the experiment. I would like to thank the conference organizers who provided an opportunity to talk about our results as well as all the listeners for their attention. Thank you and bye-bye.